Michael's birth was a very difficult breach delivery. To make matters worse, he was trying to come out with his hands behind his head. He was lying on his back with his hands behind his head. And that caused him to become stuck in the passage. Foot came out for it. Now to shove him up and forceps his head. Pull him out. By forceps and head, damage the tissue of the brain that coordinates the body. He never had any formal schooling. No school in Nassau would accept him because he was so severely handicapped, disabled. He couldn't talk properly, but he made words and sounds and he understood everything. But we never really knew what he had in his brain until Mommy sent him a typewriter. Immediately, he typed complete sentences, having never communicated with any, anybody in his life. Complete sentences, pretty well, properly spelt. He had learned to do that by watching Sesame Street on the television. I mean, just incredible that is to me. He learned it all internally. Michael's never been able to move anything of his own will below his shoulders. Now, stand there for a moment, just a moment, and pretend that you can't move about like you're moving about now, that you just had to stand still and hold your body perfectly still, that you couldn't feed yourself, you couldn't bathe yourself, you couldn't clothe yourself, you can't even turn the page of a book. But your mind drives you, and that's what Michael has. Michael has a brilliant mind that is imprisoned in a body that won't work.